All right, so I'm recording. So, so this plane is a kind of a loosely based Ace Littlest stick. This is a Littlest stick. And all that's what is that covered with? Now this is covered with silk again. Uh huh. But this is silk that's been dyed. Frankly, I just used uh, uh, inkjet colors. So Yellow. basically, inkjet refill. Inkjet refill colors to dye the to dye the urethane yellow. So you did it on. So you you dyed the polyurethane and dyed, not the silk. I put dye into the polyurethane and then squeegeed it out. Okay. So I have a, have a yellow piece and I made a blue piece and use that to cover this little stick. Oh, so if you want color, it can be done <laughs> without too much, too much fuss or fuss. You could, of course, put this white silk on and then dye it afterwards, but getting an even coat might be a little bit hairy. Okay. Easy. Cute little fella. This three-quarter size of what? Uh, it's just scratch built it. Three-quarter size. Made a few modifications and, and how I built the structure, but the the basic framework and shape portions are have been kept. This well, is um, dyed silk, in which uh, which I added yellow dye to the to the um, polyurethane port seal. And did it pretty much just as you saw the other plane, except I don't have uh, as big a threat uh, to warpage and didn't have to pay as much attention to weight. And then decorated it with magic markers. There's quite a bit of bamboo in this airplane as well, right? Here's bamboo. I, I, I tend to use bamboo for this The option, like I said, is basswood, which is also pretty good. And balsa, which I don't like because any pressure snaps balsa very easily. And bamboo is very difficult to snap these. Aren't the uh, tail outlines all bamboo as well? And yes, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, you mentioned that. And all the fuselage stringers are bamboo. No. Oh, they're not. The fuselage stringers are basswood. Basswood, okay. These are, these are basswood. Both the formers, of course. But the tail, the tail shape is actually a strip of bamboo. Which has been bent around the shape here and cross tracing at it. Of course, this is all pinned down to a board. So this strip of bamboo open and on, cross bracing right in. Same thing on the tail. That's just a piece of bamboo, thin strip of bamboo going all the way around. Then the cross bracing. That's all there is to it. And then covered with um, covered with uh, stained um, silk. Put and on. This and this plane has flown successfully, right? This, yeah, this, this cute little thing flies very slowly. Nice little park flyer uh, in a small space. Small little electric engine. Right? Which is, brings up another question. If you're using gas. Right. <laughs> gas. The, the, this polyurethane won't hold up to glow engines, so you don't want to. You want to do something different if you're using glow, and which it means you'd be might be possible to do a similar thing with dope or uh, polyurethane type product. In other words, squeegee it out on a piece of glass. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried dope. 
I was thinking when you were uh, squeegeeing out your sheet of uh, silk on the glass here, you could have actually done two at a time. Flip the glass over and do another one. Yeah. <laughs> if you're... If you're... If you, had, sure. if you had two pieces of glass in frames, you could do four pieces of covering at a time and probably yeah. cover a whole airplane after one, yes. one prep session. Sure. <laughs> All right.